one couple car track is situated just outside the town of Swakop Muni, wedged between the main road to Vintuk and the local airport. The rental car business under the stewardship of track owner Rivaldo Mendes provides hours of adrenaline track entertainment for all those seeking some extra excitement and competitive fun. But it was time to get more serious and lift the level of competition as the local carters and the visitors from South Africa were getting their cars ready to race. Start at 6 o'clock <laughs> with the Bambinos first, second Max Torinos, third Junior and Senior Max together, and then after that we're going to have the Masters. The Masters. For this event, I think the, the most important thing is obviously have fun but to get exposure for karting in Namibia and um, that's why we did this whole experiment getting um, Nick and Steve and their um, children up here um, and it's to get exposure here, to get quality here, show the people what is what is karting all about and um, yeah I would say that's uh, the main main aspect is exposure for karting in in our in our country now. Um, the track was sold to Osvaldo Mendes. He bought it about five months ago, and he is an old rally driver, uh, driving a lot in South Africa as well. So he's got big passion for for racing, and um, together with his um, little um, kid from um, grand kid, he's also starting with Bambino now. It's his fourth race today, and. Um, he invested very, very much. I mean, um, he did very small stuff, but big stuff. There's a lot done, and for each race, there's new improvement. So, um, yeah, the, the track, the track itself hasn't got um, too many improvements yet. Uh, we rather, or we at the moment concentrated on on the surroundings. Uh, we got a new timing system in, and but um, there's lots of improvements done and. The big improvement is the resurfacing of the track and then obviously extending the track. That's the, I would say, rather long-term projects. At the moment we've got around about 20 to 30 active carters. Today we've got uh, 19 entries worth the five drivers from South Africa. In this year we've got quite a few new drivers. So there is a, there is a positive wipe going and um, we um, hope that we can take that wipe into the next year and get more people on the track now. The biggest step that we that we actually have um, signed now is we um, have agreed with Rotax South Africa that we can um, host for 2020 the Rotax Max Challenge Namibia. Um, so we will have eight nationals uh, next year, four in Swakopmund, four in Windhoek, running under the, under the series and um, the winner in each class will get a ticket to the African Open that will be in 2021. So I think that's, that's uh, the big step, the big basement for next year and um, then obviously getting more and more carders involved, getting the, the older carders that are currently on hold also on the track again and make karting popular again. First out on the track for the qualifying session with the Bambinos. The kids 5 to 9 years old using Wacoma 50cc engines. As expected, the pace was set by the two visiting drivers from South Africa, 
Christian Verheil and Aidan Bowman. Also on track was a five-year-old Mila Bruta, who ended up in the tire wall after contact with the impatient Christian Verheil. It's very nice to come race in another country because all the way from Joburg here, 15 hour drive, I couldn't survive anything. So the what do you think the here. circuit? It's a very nice place and especially um, I've never been on a new place before so I'm going to try my hardest and try and win. Mila Boerta recovered quickly from her crash, setting a decent time, while local lad Paul Wistazen also showed improvement as the day was going on. The two South Africans, Christian Verheil and Aidan Beaumont, topping the sheets as expected and showing the experience from racing in South Africa. Unfortunately, the Max Torino class only had three drivers participating, due to the others having prior commitments. The track is super cool. They're putting a lot of effort into it, and everyone here is really cool, and they like racing. There's got stones in the tar, so it's not slippery. It's just a little bit bouncy, and the track is really like fun and. It would just be really cool if it was a little bit longer. This is gonna, this is super cool um, that they're doing a night race for South Africans. Keegan Bowman, the 2020 African Open winner, setting the fastest lap ever for a Max Torino kart around the Swakop kart circuit, taking pole position from Mick Goldbeck and Heinrich Ruiz. Next out on the circuit was a combined senior and junior Max qualifying. Hoping to improve on his previous personal best was Voto Smith. Pushing hard to get a good grip position in his borough art was Michael Furry. We have a new track owner not so long ago and he's doing so much for us and also for the track itself. It's improving every single day. Every day I come here, every week I come here new. There's something going on. Like you all, you probably see in the background all the yellow and black and white. They painted all of that in, I don't know how long ago, very quickly and I came here one day and I was like, whoa, this is nice, because it makes it look more interesting and more fun. I know this track more than most of them, because um, I practice almost every, uh, every week, and it's obviously more comfortable for me knowing the track and knowing how my tires are, knowing how my motor works and my, all my settings, so I don't have to change them if I go somewhere else. In Senior Max, Ivan Foster putting it ahead of Kip and Rias, while in the Juniors, Justice Boylker getting pole ahead of Smith and Furie. It was time for the open class, who were all on Rotex DD2 machines, which proved to be a handful on the short and technical circuit. But all this could play to the advantage of local Jörg Goldbeck. Um, yeah, what a pleasant surprise. Uh, Swakop, incredible place. Um, obviously just uh, saw some of the advertising online, uh, spoke to Nick and Jen and thought a uh, great way to spend uh, um, December break and thought the boys needed a little bit of something different. So uh, really it was for them, uh, bring them up and show them around somewhere new. Oh, what an impressive uh, investment the guys are making into the sport in Namibia. Incredibly passionate crowd, um, really great fun to hang out with, extremely welcoming. Um, they're putting some serious effort into the track and uh, into the sport and I wish them all the best going forward. Yeah, I spent uh, too much time rolling from race to race with the kids to invest in any seat time myself. So really cool to hang out behind Nick and uh, get taught a lesson or two. Reigning South African DD2 Masters Champion Nick Verheil in attack mode as he posted the fastest ever lap around the Swakop circuit to take pole position from rookie Liam Gilchrist ahead of Hans Mushkat Stephen Bowman and Jörg Goldbeck. As the evening sets in, everyone was filled with excitement for the first ever night race at the Swapport Car Tournament. Bambinos getting proceedings going. It was soon apparent that Christian Fahel was not going to hang around as he blitzed his way around the Bambino friendly circuit, being chased by Aidan Bowman. The Namibian challenge was led by Sebastian Fanikav, ahead of Paul Wistazen 
who was recovering from an early mistake just ahead of the five-year-old Mila Puerta. And you got pole position. Yes. Do you think you're going to keep Mr. Beaumont out? Yep. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to go as fast as I can and get away from him. What part of a circuit do you like? I like this big corner here because um, it's, it's a nice place to actually ungain your speed and gain your speed back. And uh, also a nice long straight, eh? Yeah. And some nice hairpins. And you're not going to bump a girl off again, eh? No. Okay, good. But uh, so good luck and you've, ne you've done no racing in the evening and we're going to do a night race tonight. Yeah, it's it's very um it's very scary that I'm gonna be in the dark um and we and we don't want to have big crashes because once someone flipped in their cart. Obviously enjoying his first night race, Christian Fahel showed no mercy and got a well-deserved victory ahead of fellow South African Aidan Beaumont with Sebastian van Eekert completing the podium ahead of Paul Wistazen and Mila Boerta. From the uh, perspective of the South African visitors, we've all gained in terms of uh, technical setup of the carts, uh, driving lines, the do and the don'ts, and then just you know getting together and, and uh, assisting each other and uh, in, you know, if you can improve every time that you come to the track, even if you're the slowest, if you can improve on your times and gain one position, that's great for everybody. We w really want to improve the facilities in terms of the, the pit area and then especially resurfacing of the track and extending the track. That's our long-term goals. Uh, but first of all, we want to resurface the track. That's very important for us. There's a lot of Namibians that's not participating today. But it's, uh, it's holidays and I don't know, they've got other commitments with the family, so we respect that and we still support them and encourage them. But yeah, they, I think the guys that did not come, they've, they've lost out, uh, but uh, there's a lot of guys that can still contribute uh, that's not here today. Well, what, what I've seen is that uh, as soon as we introduced the Bambinos, the sport just rocketed. It's, it's, it's amazing to see that you must uh, start with the small ones, the bambinos, uh, and um, the parents get involved immediately, some other parents see. I think that's where the growth starts is with the little ones, not with the big guys. As expected, after the blistering lap record times he was setting and qualifying, an easy victory for African Open champion Keegan Bowman ahead of Mick Goldbeck and Heinrich Ruiz. Next onto the circuit were the combined senior and junior match classes. Two local drivers, Ivan Foster and Eustace Boyka, making the best of a front row start and the home track advantage. Pulling away from the rest of the guys on lap one already, leaving the rest to fight for the scraps for the third and fourth positions. Talk to me about this weekend's event. What does it mean for you guys to have these South African guys come over? For, for me personally, it, uh, it, it really means a lot because there's so much that we still need to learn about karting. Especially, we're, we're down at, at rock bottom here with, 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 with the karting. And yeah, you can read up and look stuff stuff up on the inter internet but to actually learn from someone who's been to the world championships to be a, a, a national champion it um, I've I've even personally seen what um, how, how great my cart is doing now just by taking taking advice from 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 Nick Going forward, what would you like to see happen here as well? I would like to see the, the track develop. I would like to see more, more people com compete and, well, just let more people have, have fun and just, just enjoy the racing. Because the more we are, the better the racing gets and we can learn from each other, we can 
just have fun. That's that's why we're here. We want to have fun. We we want to want to enjoy the sport and learn how to do it better and just improve. Even Foster, the local man in his senior max, showing sheer dominance and romping away from the rest of the field, getting the checkered flag. Behind him, just as Boilka, almost catching the tail of the junior class as he gets the checkered flag. In senior max, Ivan Foster ahead of Andre Kup and Jürgen Ries, with Justin Boilka ahead of Voter Smith and Michael Furry. What the guys are doing here, Jürgen, his team, uh, um, Scholl, they're busy trying to grow the Rotax brand or karting in general here. Um, we're racing at a rent cart circuit here. They have big plans to grow the circuit, make it a bit longer, make it a bit flatter. Um, a lot of fun trying to help the guys learn a little bit about karting. I enjoy helping people and seeing the results, the smiles when they come off the track, it's, it's good fun. Um, small basic setup tips and training uh, just to help the guys uh, enjoy the sport a little bit more. Nick Fayol taking full advantage of his pole position ahead of a karting rookie Liam Gilchrist in his Saudi kart who in turn was under pressure from Steve Beaumont and Jörg Goldbeck in the early stages of the night race. If you had to give him advice what, 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 what would you tell them, guys? What, this is what you have to do. I'll keep doing what they're doing. I think they're heading in the right direction. They've got a bit of an expansion to make to the track, maybe 400 meters, and it gets up to FIA standards. Other than that, uh, I think they, they really are on the right track. Grab some more people into the sport, and I'm sure we're going to see a few uh, Namibian African Open winners before you know it. If you, I lost last night, that four or five guys saying, shiver we knew we would have also come. How does one attract guys from like South Africa? I mean, we were the masters of karting in Africa. Nobody can compare with what we do in South Africa. Most of our regional championships is bigger than other countries' entire championships. Uh, is, it, is it something we as South Africans have to look like to A, grow the sport? by coming to places like this? Well, I think if you're South Africa, we may be the masters of karting in Africa, but we're certainly not the masters of karting in the world. And at some point, some, someone invested in us. And, uh, you know, we've got to pay it forward and invest in some of these other countries that are trying to um, grow the sport in, in, in and around us. Uh, in and around us. Um, I mean, you, we may not necessarily come and experience what we would in Italy when we come and race in Namibia, but Nick and I were having an absolute laugh in the June buggies in the June today, and it was just about as much fun. It was awesome. On the last lap of the race, Jörg Goldbeck is coming under pressure from race leader Nick for Hill, but he managed to keep the South African DD2 Masters champion out, out going a lap down. An easy heat one win, as expected, going to Nick for Hill, comfortably ahead of rookie Carter Liam Gilchrist, with Steve Bowman struggling a bit with visibility, with the light rain blowing in over the cold Atlantic, making it difficult for all to see during the second half of the race. Don't forget to join us for part two of the action from the Swakop Card Club.